there were a couple of things in yesterday's vlog that I've either mentioned very, like, very rarely or never mentioned at all. Good afternoon, internet friends. How are we doing today? My puppies are doing sleep. It's nap time. Now, of course, if I move my chair or anything, the boys are like, what? So right now, I've just, I'm working on yesterday's vlog. It is different from what I normally do. So I often say that vlogging is like a day in my life video all the time. But this time, I'm making a legit day in my life video, but it's more of a day in my life in my head. Because of course, I can't explain every single thought that I have to you guys. And even in that video, it was still hard because sometimes I had thoughts while I was sleeping. Yes, that does happen. I don't think to take pick up the camera. But I tried to be as um, like to the point as possible about it. And it's probably going to seem really depressing. I mean, that's how my brain works. And no, I'm not looking for pity or attention or anything. I'm just stating fact, this is how my brain is. And probably some of you guys could relate too about how your brain is horrible to you. So, thumbs up if we could relate. Woo! So, I've gotten home from work. Work was pretty good. I got to pet puppies. Oh, there was a blue pit bull puppy. It made me so happy. Um... And now once I get the video starting to upload to YouTube, I'm going to probably take me a little nap and then get changed. And today is my godbrother's birthday party that my brother and I are going to. Um, because my parents can't come because they're in Colorado. My mom is running a marathon there. So yay, good luck, mom. Oh, I want to update you guys because I thought I updated you and I didn't. Sorry. I called about seeing if I could do a phone appointment with my psychiatrist and cannot. He won't be able to do it, so. Back to square one. But we'll get there. So, I'm gonna finish up with the vlog and I'll check back in with you later. Hey guys! There's Sassy Girl. And there's the boys. Riddler, I'm gonna guess, got bit by something outside because his face is very itchy. But I just gave him some Benadryl, so that should be kicking in the next little bit. Um. If he's been bitten, he'll either rub his face on stuff, or he'll welt up. I don't see any welts on him right now, but he's definitely gotten bitten by something. And then there's the Emerald. He's being a brat, child. You're being a brat. Whew. I am tired. Um, so, we got back about an hour or so ago from Jonah's birthday party. That was a lot of fun. I ended up going swimming. I didn't think I would, and I ended up doing that. And now I'm super tired. I mean, I'm mentally I wasn't really feeling that great. It was like, eh, I don't really want to go. But I ended up having a good time anyway. I got really tired and fatigued pretty quick. But I'm like, you know, I eventually just sat to the side and talked to parents. It was a great time. Um, and then got home. Tyler got a shower and I made a really quick dinner. It's like these Hawaiian roll sliders. You are panting hard, sir. It's like take a whole pack of Hawaiian rolls, slice them in half, put turkey and cheese, put the tops back on, then you mix melted butter with Dijon mustard, pour that on top, do a little poppy seed, and then 350, 20 minutes, you have dinner. It's pretty good. Um, but got that done, got me a shower, and just had dinner, Tyler had dinner. Right now I feel way too fatigued to do dishes. And clean up the kitchen. So I'm just chilling with the boys for a little bit. Who knows, I may end up falling asleep. Um, I know the boys will be. I made them go outside for a while. Because especially this one was being really rowdy. Yeah, you were. He'll be knocked out in the next little bit because I gave him Benadryl. So. But yeah, we're just going to all chill out for a little while. And hopefully I can gain some more energy so that I can actually get the kitchen cleaned up. Hey guys. There be the boys. And there's my beautiful girl. 
not feeling too good though. She slipped on the wet floor and hurt her back a little bit. But she's fine. She can walk. She just needs to rest it off, don't you, honey? So, that nap took much longer than I thought it would. It was like 9, 10 when I woke up. But at least I had the energy to go downstairs, put away stuff from dinner, and clean up the kitchen. So, hooray! And of course, play nurse to sassy. And take the dogs out. Because of course the dogs are a big responsibility all by themselves. Yeah! Um, but I also wanted to point out that, like, clear up a couple of things. Because I feel like this may come up at some point. There were a couple of things in yesterday's vlog that I've either mentioned very, like, very rarely. Or never mentioned at all. The first thing is the, how bad the skin picking really is. I know I've mentioned it a few times about how it looks bad across my face, but, like, if I could have set up a tripod while I was picking my face, I would. Um, I guesstimated about 20 minutes, but each session can last between 15 to 30, and they often just take up so much of my time, which sucks. Um, I always do it in the morning and at night, and maybe two or three times, one or two times throughout the day. But especially if I'm anxious, I will do it. So, there's that. And the big thing that I know I've never mentioned in my vlog, until now, is my huge body insecurity and the obsession with diet pills. So, I've always been insecure about my weight, and recently, within the past, like, several months, I've been gaining a lot of weight fast. And again, I think it's hypothyroidism, but right now, my family's not very supportive of me trying to actually dig into that and figure it out. Like, I got chewed out by my mom because she heard that I was wanting to try to find an endocrinologist. Which is also why finding a psychologist, not psychologist, psychiatrist, is, get, is really difficult too. Because she's not very supportive at all about my mental health stuff. She's convinced that, oh, this will just all go away. And then I need to just snap out of it. And why don't you exercise again like you did that one summer? You were so happy then. Or why don't you take up belly dancing again? And it's just like... <sighs> you don't understand how much energy that takes. But okay, whatever. So... The obsession with diet pills... It's been like an on and off thing for several years. But it's really gotten worse within the past year. Um... Already this year, I have tried three, including the one I'm on now. It's three. Because, yes, I did buy a thing of pills last night. <sighs> it's yet again, try something. Um, I've tried water pills at one point, which I know really didn't do much. I will not ever do laxatives, ever. Because, I mean, I already, TMI, I get diarrhea almost daily. I pretty much think I have IBS, but I really don't want to go to the doctor to pursue that and get like officially diagnosed because again I don't want to deal with my family being like oh you're wasting money you shouldn't have done that blah, blah, blah. so but yeah I kind of want to take you guys like into a little trip inside my mind I'll tell you I don't have those thoughts every single solitary day and there's some thoughts that I it, that I didn't include because I just forgot about it like worries about my job and worries about how stupid I am and things like that so <sighs> My mind is super annoying. And again, I really did not make the vlog to get pity or get people to feel bad for me or whatever. I just wanted to show this is a day in the life of a mentally ill brain. You know, that someone with mental illness, like, you guys see me going through life a lot. I'd say every day, but I haven't been doing every day lately. And you know, you see me, I look very normal. I don't know about acting normal, but I look normal. You know, I go around. I do things. The light changes on my face. I snuggle with Poppersh. Where's your face? There's your nose. <gasps> Where's your face? There it is. <laughs> that face says he's so tired of my crap. So, because it often comes as a shock to people when I say that I do have anxiety and depression. They're like, what? But you're, you're so bubbly and outgoing and extroverted. I'm like, well... This is true about me. So, I guess I just wanted you guys to see that 
you know, the outside may look perfectly fine, the inside's not. So, now before my arm gives out, I'm going to sign off for the night and head off to bed. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've had a wonderful day or night, rain or shine, whatever the world has for you today. Question of the day is, what is one positive thought that you have a lot of the time? I know we can't have it every single day, because that's hard some days, but what is a thought you always have? My thought is how much I love these pups. These pups are my life, if you can't already tell. If you're new to my channel, welcome. These dogs are my life. That one is my service dog in training. That one is his brother slash my dad's dog, and that is the family dog. And I love every single one of them. So put your positive thoughts down below, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye! Good night, Emeril. Good night, Riddler. And good night, Sassafras.